We have learned how to find the area of a shape. It's length times width. We've also learned how to find the perimeter. It's side plus side plus side, however many sides there are. Today, we're going to learn how rectangles with the same area can have different perimeters. I'm playing a video game, and I have 16 castle tiles to build a castle. And then I have 16 moat tiles to make a moat around my castle. And my job is I need to find a rectangle that I can make a castle out of that can have 16 moat tiles around it. So let's try making a castle. Let me see here. I'm going to make a castle that has an area of 16. So here's my moat, or here's my castle that has an area of 16 tiles. Now I need to put 16 moat tiles around. So let's count the perimeter and see if I can do it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. The perimeter equals 20. So I can't put my 16 moat tiles around my castle. And you have to put your moat all the way around because that keeps the bad guys out. And if you have one spot where there's no moat, it's not going to work. So let's try to make a rectangle of a different shape. So here I made a rectangle, and it's 1 down, and it's 16 across. So let's see what the perimeter is. If this is 1, then this is 1, and then this is going to be 16 under here. So 16 plus 16 is 32, 33, 34. So the perimeter of this castle would be 34 units. That is way more than 16, so my 16 moat blocks are not going to be able to go around this castle. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to try again to see if I can make a rectangle with an area of 16, but then a perimeter of 16. Let's try something else. Here I made a rectangle with an area of 16. It's 4 across and 4 down, which means this is 4 and this is 4. If I add up all sides, the perimeter would equal 16 units. So here is the kind of castle I can make. The area is 16, and then the perimeter is 16, so my 16 moat squares could go around it. Sometimes when you have different shapes, they can have the same area, but the perimeter will be different depending on the shape of the rectangle. Let's try making shapes with an area of 10. If you look at this rectangle right here, this side is 2 and this side is 5. The area equals 10, but when I count up all sides, the perimeter, 5 and 5 is 10, plus 2 and 2, the perimeter equals 14. If I look at this side, the top is 10, the bottom is 10, and the two lengths are 1. I know the area equals 10, but when I count out the perimeter, 10 and 10 is 20, plus 1 and 1 is 2, so the perimeter equals 22. So here you have two shapes, same area, but different perimeters. Here I made some shapes, and they all have the area of 12 square units. And what I want to do is I want to see the perimeter of each shape. So I know this side has 4 and this side has 3, which means a cross would be 3 because it's equal since it's a rectangle in the other side. When I'm at them up, 4 and 4 is 8, plus 3 is 11, plus 3 is 14. The perimeter equals 14 units. Over on this side, this is 6 across and this is 2 down. So 6 and 6 is 12 plus 2 is 14, plus 2 is 16. So here the perimeter would equal 16 units. The area is still 12 though. Here's another rectangle with an area of 12, but this side is 12 and this side is 1. So 12 and 12 would be 24, plus 1 is 25, plus 1 is 26. So the perimeter equals 26 units. 
So here we have three different rectangles, but once again, the perimeters are all different. They've got the same area of 12 square units, but they've got different perimeters. So it's important to remember that when you're dealing with area and perimeter, two rectangles can have the same area, but that doesn't mean they're going to have the same perimeter. Their perimeter can be different.